What's up, Pip Chasers? Real fast, I'm here. This is a video that it was hard to make, man. It's emotional, actually. I know y'all don't know where I'm at, but I'm gonna show y'all real fast. Let me see if I can put it in the background. Yeah, y'all see that? Y'all see that? This is my old job, man. I was here 20 years. 19 and some change at this one building right here. And what's funny to me is a lot of people, when I told them I was leaving here, look at these hard workers, man, look at this. And part of the volume, because I know it's noisy, it's a lot of people going to work, it's an industrial area. I worked at this building for 19 years, man. A lot of people thought I was crazy when I told them I was gonna leave. They was like, yo, how you, what you gonna do? Cause the money was good. It was a, it was a good paying job. I was in that, that, I was in that low percentage of people. I had a trade job, you know, I had a trade. So it was a high paying job. A lot of people would consider this a good job based, based off the pay, but honestly, this job sucked. It sucked ass, man. I hated it. I hated it for years, man. And you know, it was a good job when I first got there. And then um, some new people to started taking taking over. They hired this one guy, this boss, and he was a brother. And the reason that that hurt the most was because he made me end up hating his job, man. He made me hate it to the point where I was like, I, I gotta be thankful for him. Because if it wasn't for him, I would have never got the fuck out of here, yo. And now I'm looking at this shit and how it turned out, and I'm so glad, man. I'm so glad I got the fuck out of here, man. You wouldn't believe it. I worked at this shit 19 years. It's crazy. And looking at it now, I should have been got the fuck out of here. Well, it's safe to say I made the right decision, man. It's safe to say. So, at the end of the day, man, don't be listening to people when they tell you what to do and not do, man. Because a lot of people told me I was crazy. They thought I was insane. They thought I was fucking nuts. And what's funny is, when I made up my mind to leave this place, let me put it in the back. When I made up my mind to leave this place, right, everybody kept telling me, um, that they, they didn't think I, it was wise. This place ended up having a a meeting and saying the last, my last day was the day that the place closed down. And that's how I knew not to be afraid because I was always afraid to leave and go out on my own as an entrepreneur and then as a trader because it was, a, you know, I was leaving my, my employment. I was leaving my income. I mean, I always had other little side incomes and ways to make money, but this was like my, my money that I used to fuel all of that. So when I was leaving, I always would be scared and make excuses. And then one day I finally said, no, that's it. And God came and bought a, yo, it was crazy that I was started telling people I was cool with at the job. Yo, I'm leaving. January 31st is my last day. They had a meeting, I swear to God, and said January 1st, this place is closing. As you can see right here. Because all of this would be open right now. All of this down there is open. A new company took over and they, they're down there, but all this would have been open. And everybody kept coming to me. Yo, how did you know? How did you know? I didn't know. I just went with God. Something was telling me make January 1st my last day. So what I was going to do is December 31st, put in my four weeks vacation. And I was never going to come back. And I ended up kind of still doing that. But they told me, if you stay to January 31st, we'll give you all your vacations and extra money. I said, yeah, that's cool. So I stayed an extra two weeks, but I still left two weeks into January. I didn't stay to the last day. But um, it's funny because those people now, they're getting thrown around. They started over. They work at nights. It's horrible what they got to do for a dollar, man. And I'm just grateful that I found, I found this trading shit, man, because... Now that I'm able to make what I make in a day, I can make that in one trade. I can make that in 30 minutes. And I was doing that busting my ass all day in this bitch. All fucking day, man. So please, I'm just making this video to tell y'all, 
keep chasing your dreams don't listen to nobody when people tell you you need them and you need this and you need that all that's because they don't think they could do it so if you feel like you could do something do it man do it i'm looking at this and i'm so thankful now and i was scared for a while but it started working out slowly but surely it started working out man and now i could look at this shit and say i'm glad man because some of my some of my friends they ended up staying here and they were telling me how bad it was they were telling me how they was working with crackheads and all this other shit and i'm just glad i didn't listen to that shit what's up brother all right i'm just glad i didn't listen to that shit man because i would have been caught up in the same dumb shit and i would have never went out on my own and got my shit up and y'all gotta pardon me for the curse and it's just it's emotional because i had so many people telling me that i wasn't gonna be able to do what i'm doing now i had so many people acting like i was gonna need this job and i knew it i knew to just that was a sign when they told me this place was gonna close January 31st and they offered me another job I knew not to take it I knew to make that the last day that I ever worked for somebody again I knew it I knew it y'all and look I was right now I talk to my friends and all of them working somewhere they hate it it sucks I get up whenever I want if I don't want to wake up tomorrow early and, and come out here I don't have to I don't it's beautiful it's beautiful man life life is good when you figure out some things man and, and thanks to forex i was able to figure out a lot of stuff so pip chasers if you out there listen listen don't let nobody tell you you can't do it man because when i was trading i spent months wasting money losing money i was out here i was trying to trade and work that wasn't working this job was keeping me from trading see what i figured out about making money was the hours that you were at work or the hours that you would be making money trading so it's like you traded your time for money but this job will take from you and give you a very little bit in return man a very little bit in return so what i was getting what i was getting in return for my time it was not worth it look at this man look at all these people man it's a beautiful view don't get me wrong it's a beautiful view but all these people going to work man all these people slaving all of them all of them it's sad i was one of them i used to be here every day for 20 years bro every day and i had the type of boss you was one minute late they was trying to fire you if you called out they was trying to fire you and i had sick days and all that i was like yo this shit sucks they would yo it was like i had no freedom now i could travel the world i could go where i want when i want and it's real. I'm I'm living proof. This shit is real. I can hop on a plane right now. Could be out of here. I ain't got to worry about being back by Monday. I don't have to. I don't have to. So I, I had to make this video. I came and drove here just to make this video to motivate myself and to motivate y'all. I'm talking. People walking by. They see me. They nod their head. Because they, they know what's going on. <laughs> but it, it's beautiful. I'm looking at all these people going to work, and I'm like, I ain't making fun of it. I, I used to be one of them, but when you don't got the knowledge, you don't know. You know, you just don't know. And I used to be like this every day, man. Every fucking day. Busting my ass for that money. Busting my ass. Look at this shit. Yeah. Yeah. It feel good. People looking like, yo, what is that guy over there doing? Making a video about how i'm never gonna bust my ass again for no money and how i don't have to have no one telling me what to do because i sacrificed all those mornings i used to get up and i would lose them trades trying to figure it out trying to learn now i can't wait to go trade and get me some money now i, just, I can't wait to wake up and go hit some trades i, I put a couple trades and hit them once i see they going in my direction i step away from the computer no stop loss no nothing because i know that's i'm my own boss like just knowing that i don't have to answer to somebody is enough for me you know so this video is long enough i gotta return some phone calls i had to tell everybody i'll call you back because i was having an emotional moment driving here so you'll probably you, you probably hopefully enjoy the intro that's me just showing you some of the the traversal to come to work every morning you know i went through so much crap i used to get pulled over by the police out here because they were racist they used to try and like bag me for tickets and shit it was bad what i went through man i went through so much hell but it was worth it because i learned a lot 
I learned how businesses work. I learned like having a job. No one can't tell me shit about jobs. I worked this job 20 years. No one can't tell me shit. And I still managed to break free of that system. No one can't tell me nothing. So anyway, listen, I'm going to be honest. I have a passion to, to, to help y'all wake up. Like no one's saying a nine to five is whack. If that's your means of making money, you do it. A nine to five is better than a 10 to life. Do it. But tell people they don't have to, you know, this is financial freedom here, man. You don't have to do this. The reason that a lot of people don't know about this is because if everybody knew about trading, who would be working? So somebody got to do the jobs. Don't get me wrong. I get that. But some of y'all, y'all don't have to do it. If y'all like me, where y'all at a job and you hate it, you hate you hate it, the, the being around certain people. There was people at the job I couldn't stand being around just as they had a bad vibe to them. They they didn't they didn't have like nothing. They didn't care about nothing but work. I was like, yo, y'all don't do anything with y'all lives. Y'all just come to work and go home. Now, it was sad, man. It was it was just uninspiring, man. No no ambition, no motivation, nothing. So it was like, yo, seeing that every day, and I, I'm not an old guy. You know, I got 20 years in, and I'm still not old. I'm not. I can't even collect. I gotta wait almost 20 years to collect my pension from this job. I might not even be alive in 20 years. So. That just goes to show you right there. But it, it just sucked, man. So that's why I said I had to drive up here and make this video for y'all because this shit sucked. I did it for 20 years. The first 10 years was good. But once they got that new boss and he started coming in there, that brother was on some hate and shit. He started trying to fight. He started firing everybody that was like cool. He started bringing his family in there. They ain't know what the fuck they was doing. And then it made me realize, yo, I, I'm working with a bunch of weirdos, man. I, I had to get the fuck out of that. So, I, I had to. It was just fucked up, man. Everybody thought I was bugging when I said I'm leaving. Everybody did. It's fucking crazy. So, it is what it is, man. I worked here. I worked down at that UPS over there. You see it? All that dumb shit, I did it. I used to do all that dumb shit. Now I don't have to punch a clock ever again, man. Thank God. So if anybody telling you that you have to do that shit, it's because you don't know better. You find somebody like me that's willing to help you, latch on to that. Latch on to that. It's nothing like not having to get up and go punch in the clock. I'm telling y'all that now. That's crazy. Imagine getting that time back. You could go do so many other things. It's bugged out too because I see people walking past me going to work, driving to work, and... It's a big difference when you free like that. When you free to just go about your business and you look like them, but you not like them because it's like I'm Neo in the Matrix. I know who you are, but you don't know who I am. I can see through you like binary code. It's bugged out, man, what this shit will teach you. So it's like you got knowledge that people don't have and you got access to money and shit or a way to make money without having to go through all of this. It's a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful thing, man. So... I just had to make this video to tell y'all. It's real. I'm living proof, man. This is, look how long I was at this fucking job. You know what I mean? Now it's new people there doing the same shit. It's crazy, cause that's the thing too. You ain't nothing but a number to these people. Once you go on, they gonna just replace you with somebody else, man. So you might as well get your money, man, I'm telling you. So anyway, look. My man, he was doing this Forex shit for 10 years. And I used to be like, what is that? And I didn't pay attention to it. Then one day when I was uh, doing my crypto trading, I was looking at the crypto charts and I kept saying to myself, these charts look mad familiar. They look like charts I seen before. And then I realized these was the same charts my man was trading on. So then I started learning what these charts was because I was, get, I was, pardon me, I was getting mad with my cryptos because when I started getting into crypto, I would invest money in crypto and leave it. And I would come back and I would be negative. I'm like, damn, these stocks don't move fast enough and these cryptos keep going up and down. What am I doing wrong? And then that's when my man was like, yo, I, I trade I trade that too. And I was like, let me look. And I started looking. And I realized, yo, those same charts was the same exact. Once you learn candlesticks and patterns and, you know, what the, what the market is doing, you realize all of this shit is the same. Indices stocks gold silver crypto currencies 
And you start figuring all of that out. You start going, oh, shit, this is all the same thing. Now, I mean, volatility is different, of course, depending on what you trade. GBB, JPY is different from Euro, USD. The, the lot size matters. Crypto's lot size is <laughs> completely different. I'm not getting into the nitty gritty like that. What I'm saying is that that opened my eyes to these charts. And once I started learning these charts, I started freaking my crypto. Now I tell my friends, they they hit me up all the time. My friend, I got to call him back right now. I just got him. Uh, Bitcoin is what? 60. I said, yo, stay in Bitcoin. Bitcoin got to hit 70. How you know? How you know? You know, this was at 33,000. Bitcoin hit 66,000. Now it's going back down. I told him, don't worry about it going down. Those are the people that took the losses that held their money. They're getting ready to go out. I can look at the chart and tell you that Bitcoin is still in the uptrend because I know how to read the charts now. The average person would not know what I'm talking about or how to do that. I can read the chart on Bitcoin, go trace in Bitcoin and make a bag and be out. Now what I gotta come to work for? See what I'm saying? Like this is crazy. And that's the same money I would make in a week. I could do one trade and get that money. One trade in one day and get that money. I'm telling y'all. So I look around and I look at all these people going to work. I feel bad because they don't know. They don't know, man. A lot of them don't know. So I'm going to try to bring awareness to my people as much as I can. Because a lot of people that I know who grew up, they don't even know that this is real. That They think it's a scam. They don't know it's real. It's real. So I'm going to try to help y'all. I... You know, I got I got as much people as I can getting on board slowly, but most part, people are just glad to see me doing something good because a lot of my friends know how much I hated this job. It brought a lot of misery to my life, man. For years, I was unhappy. Whew, y'all don't know. Anyway, so I had a quit my job video before, but I never really got into too much details about how I really feel. When I did that video, it was premature because my trading has exponentially changed from then to now so i feel even more free making this video now now that now it feels right before it felt like i was just doing it to do it but now it feels right to make this video and let y'all know that because people were like yo you made how much the last year you made that much money at that job but it wasn't i wasn't happy y'all i wasn't happy that's what people didn't understand i wasn't happy plus they always trying to get you to work overtime and come in on your day off and all that. I was like, bro, when am I going to have time for myself? It was like too much of a trade for money. Then I had people who didn't want me to have the job, so they was hating on me. And people were mad because I was there for so long. I had seniority over them, so they didn't like that. It was so much. And I'm like, yo, y'all care so much about this little bit of funky ass money. I was making money on the side, so this wasn't a lot of money to me like it was to them. But to somebody that just works a nine to five strictly, they don't have no side hustles or nothing. They, this was everything. So for me, it was just like, if I lost this job, I would probably have a chance to be free. But I legally had to have a job. That's another thing I'll get into in another moment. But I was legally obligated to work. So I said, since I'm gonna have to work, I might as well work a job that's gonna pay me well, right? So that's that was just me. My man hooked me up with this job. He got me in. And I couldn't believe how much money I was making. I couldn't believe it. I legit couldn't believe how much money I was making at this job. I'm not going to lie to y'all. But um, still wasn't enough to put up with the bullshit I put up with. Still wasn't. I think one year I made 88000 Like, it was good money. Don't get me wrong. But it wasn't worth what I went through. I'm telling y'all it wasn't. So, if y'all know anybody that want to learn how to trade, I probably can help you. We got software. We got our indicators. We got robots that trade for you. The only reason I don't just hand out robots willy nilly is because you got to know how to use them. We do have a group. If you want to join a group and get mentored by me or my partner, we could do that for you. He got me straight. He's been trading for 10 years. I've been trading for a couple years, but he's been trading for 10. So he, he got me straight. So I help you. I mean, I'm standing in front of this bitch to show y'all it's true. Y'all see these call me i see these people going to work people working they going to work out here so y'all see it's real and they make good money out here it ain't like they come in here to make no minimum wage they're making good money out here but is it worth what you got to go through i don't think so i highly doubt it i know i hated my fucking job i hated that shit over here i worked at all these shits down here all of them so i can tell you now i'd never do it again never so, look.
look, I'm in mean, ra ra racing to get to that job. You see me? But that's what I'm telling you, man. That's what I'm telling you. And I'm not trying to rub it in or nothing because I'm regular, but I'm just saying I ain't got to do that shit again. So that's just the beauty of it, man. I'm in the street, people going to work looking at me. I'm like, hey, man, it's a good feeling that I don't got to do that. Thank God. What's crazy is I pray for days like this and now they here and it's like unreal. Y'all got to understand, it don't feel real, man. And I don't got a problem being humble because I'm a humble person, but I got to make, I got to document this just for like my own self, the journey, because I didn't know if this shit was going to happen because I ain't going to lie to you. When I left my job, I just kept having faith. I said, I'm not going to let my faith break because the minute I doubt myself, shit ain't going to go right. And I just kept going. I kept losing in trades and losing money. I kept putting money back in that account. I was like, fuck that. I'm not going to stop till I figure this shit out. And I love to challenge myself. That was even this job. This job got 20 years out of me because I was challenging myself to get along with the boss because he hated me, man. That nigga wanted me out of there so bad. And what made me crazy about it was he was a brother. So I was like, yo, why is this brother pushing on me like that? And I was challenging myself to beat him. And I was like, no, I'm not going to let you push me out this job. I'm not going to let you fire me. My dumb ass not realizing I'm giving too much of the job. This dude had me where I would go home, go to sleep so I could get a good night's sleep because I knew he was going to fuck with me the next day and give me mad work. Come to work and bust my ass just to prove that he couldn't push me out. What was I doing? I was slaving to them. Then I was telling my shop steward, I said, yo, we slaves. He was like, no, we not. You can walk out right now. I said, and how I'm going to pay my bills? He's like, well, that's the point. I said, but you not understanding that's a slave. If you gotta, if you cannot leave, you're a slave. You could leave, no. I physically could leave. Financially, I'm trapped. I was trapped here. And that bothered me because that man had the control to fire me. And if he did, how was I gonna feed my family? You see what I'm saying? So that's when I started motivating myself to figure out a way to make money without a fucking job. And then COVID happened and we was fine. We were essential workers. It was fine, but I saw everybody around me losing their shit. But what's crazy is by the time COVID came, I was already prepared because the IRS and the Fed came and took all my shit years ago. You know, so when that happened, I had to start all over. When that happened, I had to learn about credit and money because I didn't have no credit or nothing. I learned about credit, got my credit fixed. Well, not fixed. I didn't have bad credit. I didn't have no credit. I got my, I built my credit up. I started getting my money and investing it into shit. I started buying gold and cryptos and all that. And then I started getting my money up through those investments. And I said, yo, I should have been doing this shit. So that's when I started figuring that shit out. And as I was figuring out ways to like make money, that's when I started finding out about this shit that I'm telling y'all about now. And a lot of people think it's a scam because it's hard to learn. But I love to challenge myself. So once I was able to challenge myself and figure that shit out, I was like, oh, we on now. We on now. Why the hell would I go give a job eight hours a day when I could get on the trough for hour two tops and make the same bread that I'm going to make that day in a week? Make that in a, a week's worth in a day. Come on, man. Come on. So please, I know this video is kind of long. and I know it's a lot of emotions coming out of me. For me, this is emotions because I'm not the type to like really come out in public and talk like this, but I can't believe it's really real. I can't believe I really got to this point where I'm making money in the market and I don't need to work a job and I'm just, I'm unplugged. I feel like Neo, like right now, I feel like I could just drop this phone and fly into the sky. That's how I feel because it's crazy because I it took a while to get here. It took a while to get here. And looking at the job, I'm thinking about some of my friends. Some of my friends now, they were on unemployment. The unemployment got cut. Now they, they looking for jobs. They stressed out. And I want to tell them about trading, but I could tell that it's not for everybody. And that journey is a journey you got to want to take on your own. You can't make somebody take it. Like if you find this video and you sign up with us and say, hey, I want to learn how to trade. 
then I know you're ready to learn and I could teach you. But it's not something you can make somebody want to learn because my friend traded for 10 years in front of me. And I never once asked him about it until a couple years ago. And all those years it was in front of me. And I hit him up the first time and I'm, I'm so appreciative of the way he handled this. He told me I wasn't ready yet. Come back later. And I was offended because I'm like, what? And I thought I had already knew a lot about trading and I saw what he mean. Now that I got it now, cause he hit me up and was like, yo, he was like, mega, you got it, bro. You got it. He finally gave me the stamp of approval I was looking for. And I looked at the chart and I looked back now and I said, yo, I understand. And when that happened, it was, it's like my whole life, my whole world changed. Once I figured that out, I could look at so many things financially in a whole different light now investments uh trades news even the news i could look at like when um i remember when biden won presidency against trump um this, that was a saturday that he got elected where they announced he was officially our president i sold my shops to it at the old that job this job that i used to work i said yo i'm gonna trade and make money um off this and he was like how i put in a trade that sunday night that Monday morning, you should have seen those candles. That, and I, I was like, yo, look, I just made money. And I barely knew anything about trading. Well, I'm not going to say barely because when Biden got elected. No, no, no. I can't say that. I was already trading for a while. So, but the bottom line was I was trading long enough to know that that news event was going to cause me to make some money. And I feel like I didn't know nothing then because what I know now versus then, I would have fucking got rich. <laughs> And that's the reason I'm talking like that, because it's emotional. I knew that was a money opportunity, but had I known what I know now, I would have put like a fucking, I would have put like three, 10 locks on it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Instead of what I did. So that's why I'm saying that. But long story short, knowledge is power. And what you can't know, what you don't know will hurt you. And you know, you don't, you don't have to be in this type of environment. But these jobs, and I'm not knocking jobs, but I'm gonna explain it. These jobs are designed to keep you working for somebody. You will never get to that point of being the owner of the business, working for the business, unless you save every dime for many years. And I, I learned to be good with my money, so I never was really hurting for money. But these jobs, man, they're like a trap, man. They're designed to keep you here. This job kept me here for years. And that boss, had me challenging myself to come in every day. I was like, oh, he don't like me. I'm gonna come in every day and I'm gonna do the best job I can. I was making somebody else rich here. That's all I was doing. That's all I was doing. I spent years just focused on coming to work every day and doing a good job. I was a great employee. I, and they'll tell you, the bosses here tell you, I was a super good employee. I was a great employee because I was great at what I did. Like, I, I, you know what it is? Not even, not even to toot my horn. I feel like if you're going to scrub floors, be the best squirrel sub in the world, just like with trading. If I'm going to trade, I'm going to be the best trader. Everybody keep asking me, yo, you already know how to trade. How come you keep doing this and studying that and learning this and learning that? I want to know everything about this. I posted a trade the other day and everybody was like, oh, I didn't even know that was possible. Neither did I. But I challenged myself and I did it. So, you know, when you go to the Instagrams and all that, look at the stuff I'm posting and look at what everybody else is posting and you'll realize what I'm telling you. I'm not lying. You can't make up trades. You can look at the date on the chart. You can look at the candles. You can look at my entry and you can see that I'm not lying. So obviously it's real. You can't fake real charts. So I live trade. I got videos with live trades and all that. Right. So we're going to see what's up. We are gonna see what's up. So, with that being said, man, yeah, I'll never work another job again. I'm saying it. People say never say never. I'm saying it, man. I'm saying it. I'm so grateful for what I learned that if I have to go back to that, I'll do what I have to do, but that's failure to me because I know a lot now. I realize what this shit is all about. I realize it's a trick, it's a trap. You do it, you do what you gotta do, you provide for your family. But you get to a point where you no longer need it. You know, some guy just went by me in a box truck and I could look at him and see the difference. He owned that shit. He was the owner. He wasn't driving for nobody. That was his company. See, you could look at things and tell these things now. You could look and see who's a boss, who's a worker, who's going to get it, who's not. 
you can see a lot. And I'm just grateful my eyes are open. Anyway, this video is long enough. I'm gonna get out of here because it is kind of weird for me to be standing here. I'm kind of cold. Um, it is, it is New York and it's definitely cold out here. But I had to do this to motivate myself also. I wanna document my journey. I also want people to know, and I, you know, I don't come out in public and do to what I'm doing right now, but I kinda wanna get used to that too. I wanna free people. I wanna be Neo in the Matrix. I wanna help y'all. So, like I said, we do have indicators. We do have robots. They can trade for you while you learn, but I would recommend that you come get a class or something. We don't have a course but we do teach. So I recommend that you get a you know, consultation from us, a session, let us show you how to use it or make sure that you know how to use it so that you don't have to keep wasting money because unfortunately with, with trading, I'm gonna tell you now, you are gonna lose money in the beginning, but depending on the knowledge you have, you will lose a lot of money versus losing a little bit of money. You'll lose money in the form of trading, you'll lose making mistakes, which is gonna happen because that's how you learn or you lose a lot of money. Now, if you pay for somebody to help you, you'll probably lose less money. That's the only difference. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not gonna lie to you and say, hey, let somebody, anyone teach you and you ain't gonna lose no money. That's a lie. You're gonna take losses no matter how good you are. I could go and get crazy with trading and still take losses. Sometimes you get arrogant. Sometimes you get cocky. Sometimes you're just curious. Sometimes you get on a chart and you know a trade ain't right. And you still take it because you just want to see if you're right. It's all kinds of weird shit. Now that's gambling. Sometimes you just do weird things like that. It's human nature. And you just like, hey, let me see how I pan out. I done made this amount of money for the day. If I lose this trade, it ain't going to hurt me. Fuck it. And you take the trade knowing you're going to lose it. It's just funny games, you know? But at the end of the day, like I said, it's real. You know? So I'm going to get out of here. Because now it's like a lot of people passing money looking at me like, who's this big dude standing on the corner talking to himself on the phone? So... I'm gonna get out of here, but I just wanted y'all to see this, man. I did this shit 20 years. I gave them 20 years of my life, y'all. For what? Man, I should have been, I wish I had figured this shit out sooner. Now, mind you, I tell you my friend was trading for 10 years. Had I caught up with him 10 years ago? Shit, who, I probably have my own island by now. You know? Anyway, I'm out of here. Like I said, hit us up if y'all want some help learning how to trade. We do trade Forex. Uh, you got crypto, stocks. You got currencies, whatever you need. All right, I'm out of here. Let me get back in my truck because it's freezing. Peace, y'all. Signing out, man. Signing out from the plantation, as y'all can see. Signing out, man. Peace.